Tonight I am dining at Disneyland Paris' most popular buffet restaurant. Can you guess which one it is? Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. So yes, tonight we are at Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel, one of my favorite hotels here at Disneyland Paris, especially since they did a renovation, it just looks so nice and modern and I enjoy the smell. It smells wonderful here and we've got a reservation at Downtown Restaurant, which is quite a small restaurant in terms of capacity, but also extremely popular. Maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so popular, because it's so small. It gets sold out, booked out, I should say, very, very quickly. But we managed to get a reservation for 9.30 p.m., which is a little bit on the later side, but they're open until 10.30, I think. So, yeah, should be a good time. Let's go and see if it's worth the hype. So the restaurants are both that way. They've got two restaurants here at Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel. One of them is, of course, downtown, which is where we're going to be eating tonight. The other one is Manhattan, which happens to be one of my favorite restaurants in Disneyland Paris. And I just love all the elements of Hotel New York. It's so cool. And, you know, it seems like you're in some kind of art exhibition every time you step into it. Now, these are the two restaurants. As I said, we've got quite a later booking for this evening's meal at downtown, which is on my left over here. And it's the buffet restaurant, all you can eat. Manhattan's a table service restaurant. It's kind of like an upmarket restaurant. I've got video reviews of it if you want to check it out. I'll leave them down below. I love it, though. The food there is excellent. But then as a buffet downtown, I've always enjoyed as well. So before we go, let me quickly show you some of the drinks that you can get. But... As an adult, you're going to be paying 45 euros for this meal, and then uh, children would be paying 25. So it's definitely not a cheap buffet restaurant, but it's got pretty good food, and we're going to test it out and see if it's definitely worth the hype and also the price. And there you go. Even if you do have a reservation, you do have to, of course, check in before you get taken to your table. So there you go. We've just been sat at our table. And this is a little introduction to downtown restaurant. It says, talking to the famously cosmopolitan taste of New York and this art deco restaurant. So they've got different sides of cuisine. They've got Asian, Mediterranean, and American classics. And you can find them at the buffet here. I also do have to say, I really enjoy just the plate mats here with all the classic looking superhero um, artwork. Very cool, it's very sketchy style which I enjoy, but without further ado, I think it's time to go and have a look at the buffet. So we're going to start with the Asian section here. As you can see, firstly, it smells delicious, I have to say. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling, but you can see here they've got some shrimp with chili sauce over here. On the back, they've got some vegetables with coriander stir-fry. That also looks pretty good. They've got some sweet and sour chicken here. Shout out to my friend Rebecca, she would enjoy this. Some rice, regular white rice. Also some Cantonese rice over there some um oh okay so some caramelized pork ginger and lemongrass over here seems to be quite popular as well as these breaded salmon bites with cereals i don't remember these being around last time i ate here they sound good in here they've got a green curry coconut milk and lemongrass soup which is nice and then slowly but surely we're getting to the desserts which i'm gonna save for later i think i'm gonna go to the italian section now so these are some of the starters as you can see a mixture of salads some olives over here Ooh, some tomato and mozzarella that looks really nice actually a selection of hams smoked hams italian bread ham different kinds of hams over here we've got some pasta and pizza that cheese pizza actually looks pretty nice um, some different sauces for the pastas some meatballs over here uh, what's this one here chicken with tomato and pepper sauce that looks good another kind of pasta over there four cheese fagottini with truffle sauce wow might have to try that. Some more slices of pizza over here. This one is um, Tartufo Pizza, it says. Mozzarella pizza. Literally different kinds of pizza slices. Vegetable here. And then, again, loads of cheese options. What are these? Aubergine and mozzarella polpettini is what they're called. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. They've also got some sea bean on the back. So some fish options as well. So there you go. The middle section is the Italian section. Again, we get to some desserts, which I will save for later and some uh, sides as well some starters if you will actually i thought i would show you some of the starters here though because the salads seem to be a little bit different from section to section so there here we have some bagel or some more fumé so some salmon smoked salmon bagels which i didn't spot in the earlier section they've got some cheeses here as well of course some desserts i'm seeing some cuts of meat happening here very very nice some mayonnaise love that and we're about to get to Probably my favorite part of this uh, buffet, actually, the American section. So, potato gratin looks delicious. Roasted potatoes, also good. Mac and cheese, very American. Gonna have to try those. Some green beans with crispy onions. Uh, very classic Mickey potatoes that you see in almost all the buffets. 
and then loads of barbecue meat, which I'm not the biggest barbecue fan, but if you are, then you do have the option here. They've got some chicken wings as well in barbecue sauce and pork ribs, uh, salsa sauce, and then some vegan pan fries as well. So a couple of vegan options are not necessarily the most exciting vegan options that I've spotted. And then these beef burgers over here, little mini beef burgers, look phenomenal. So definitely going to be getting those as well. But there you go. This is the entire buffet. It just goes on a straight line and it's categorized quite nicely with the American section being here, Italian in the middle, and then of course at the beginning we saw the Asian section. All right, well, I'm going to go and get myself my first plate. I'm probably going to get at least two plates, hopefully, of savory dishes. And then we'll try some desserts too. Okay, well, there we have it. We've got our first plate and I decided to just go for all the American stuff for my first plate. For my second plate, I might mix and match from the Italian section and the Asian section, but took a couple of the mini burgers, some mac and cheese. We've got some of the roasted potatoes here. Of course, quite a lot of mayonnaise and then a couple of the chicken wings as well. The barbecue chicken wings, because I'm excited to try them. Oh, someone's 30th birthday, 30, that's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, wow. celebrate your birthday here as well at downtown you can in most of the restaurants they'll bring you out a cake they'll sing to you all the cast members will come to you it's a full-on ordeal it's very fun but I just tried a little bit of the mac and cheese and it's very good I'm not generally the biggest mac and cheese fan although I do sometimes enjoy the very Americanized way of doing it I think they've tried their best to kind of create an Americanized mac and cheese but it tastes delicious so I'm happy let's try a little bit of the roast potatoes with the mayo listen sometimes I just like to be simple I like my burgers I like my mac and cheese oh thank you very You're much welcome. and I like my potatoes and everything is delicious welcome to anybody <laughs> thank I'm you I'm the best wearer of Disney in Paris he is amazing <laughs> I forgot to let you know that one soft drink is actually included in the price of the buffet so at 45 euros you will also get a soft drink of course I went for my apple juice but yeah I, I would be more than happy with just this plate honestly it's just amazing that there's so many other choices here with the Asian section and the Italian section, which to be fair, the Italian section was mainly pastas and pizzas. So yeah, I think the best section for me is the American. Every time I've come here, I've just mainly gone to the American section. I don't know why. Let's try one of these mini burgers. You can actually see a cast member making the meat fresh over there. You can smell it as well. And like I said, I just, I enjoy burger. They've got some burger sauce in there. Otherwise they're playing. It's just a bit of burger sauce, some cheese, and the meat there you go some more sauce over here so if you're a picky eater more than likely you should be okay with these burgers but yeah i'm looking forward to trying it oh thank you so much thank you thank you that's so kind it's always lovely meeting you guys and dining with you in a way in the same restaurant tonight i've made quite a few of you but yeah the burger's really nice i wouldn't say it's phenomenal i personally would have liked the meat to be a little bit more red i feel like it's a little bit overdone for me but i guess they have no choice when it's a buffet they have to try and please to the majority and i think most people probably don't like it to be too red so yeah it's not a bad burger by any means though and for children a very very good option i am quickly going to try one of these wings now the barbecued wings do you know what it's nice i'm not the biggest barbecued person so I don't necessarily enjoy barbecue sauce, but the sauce they put on here is actually really nice. It has a little bit of a kick to it as well, which I appreciate. The chicken itself is good. I am very pleased with my first plate. 10 out of 10 for my pretty basic first plate. Everything is quality food, I would say. Okay, well, I'm back with my second plate. And as I mentioned, I decided to go for a mix of Asian and the Italian section. So from the Italian bit, I took a pizza, just a mozzarella pizza, and then the pasta with truffle sauce. And I can already smell the truffle. It smells delicious, hopefully it will taste good as well. I got some of the Cantonese rice from the Asian section, which seems to just have some um, green beans in there, some eggs perhaps. I also decided to try some of the pork, which generally I don't think I'd be a fan of, but I, I mean, we're at a buffet. It gives me an, an opportunity to try, so might as well. It seemed to be quite popular, as well as these, um, yeah, like fried fish with cornflakes. Anyway, I'm excited. I feel like it's a pretty decent plate. I'm already feeling frightful though, I have to be honest. All right, well, this is my second plate. I think I'm gonna try the four cheese fagottini with truffle sauce first, because it's the one I'm most intrigued about and I can smell it. The smell is so overpowering. If you love truffle, you know. And I just wanna see if it tastes as good as it smells. So it's not bad. It's not phenomenal either. Like it's not memorable. It's not making me wanna go back and get some more. It's nice though. Let's try a little bit of the pizza. The pizza is really nice. And I'm not generally the biggest pizza fan. Like I eat pizza, but I, I very rarely crave it. 
But the pizza here for a buffalo pizza, I feel like it's pretty good actually, and they make it fresh there. You can see it as well with the open oven. It's nice, and as you would have seen in the Italian section, they've got a variety of different pizzas. Obviously, I went for the simple mozzarella, but they've got different varieties as well. If, you, if you're into your pizzas, then you're definitely going to enjoy this buffet. Now, I'm very curious about this. They've called it uh, salmon bite, salmon bite with cereals, breaded salmon bite with cereals. I think probably a good option for children. I mean, I enjoy salmon, but I don't think I've ever had salmon in this way before. Let me just cut it open so I can show the inside to you. There you go, you can see the salmon in there a little bit better now. Hopefully it will be good. I mean, it was very popular, lots of people were picking it up, so... It's not bad. It tastes of basic salmon, just with a bit of crunch around it, obviously with the breaded cereals around it. It's not my favorite. It feels rather dry and I don't enjoy my salmon too dry. Yeah, I've had much better salmon elsewhere. In fact, some of the other buffets offer better salmon options. So if you're a fish lover, then definitely don't come to this restaurant. It's not the most varied fish restaurant slash buffet in Disneyland Paris. Newport Bay has a much better buffet for seafood lovers, but it's a decent option. Again, I can I can see why it's popular. I feel like children would love it. Picky eaters, if you're picky but you still enjoy a little bit of fish, then you might enjoy it, but it's, it's just too dry for me. Not my thing, definitely my least favorite thing I've had so far. And then, last but not least, it's time to try some of the pork with the Cantonese rice. And obviously I have to go for the Cantonese rice because white rice is fine and I do enjoy it. But when you're at a buffet and you can try rice that is a little bit different, why would you not go for the different one? And there you go, that's my uh, Cantonese rice. I've got a little bit of the pork in there as well. The rice is exactly what you would expect it to be. It literally is exactly what it looks like with the... Um, little bits of egg in there and the beans the pork the caramelized pork is actually it's nice it is really nice again is it amazing enough for me to want to go and get some more or you know get it next time i come no but i'm glad i tried it and i feel like if you enjoy pork and especially like sweet pork caramelized pork already then you, you probably will enjoy this as well but yeah i'm gonna enjoy my second plate now i definitely prefer my first plate to the second one I loved everything on that first plate. Like I told you, the American section has always been my favorite. I've been to downtown at least, I want to say, five or six times now, and every single time, I've, my favorite bit has been the American bit. I don't know if it's because I just prefer American food. I don't think that's the reason, though. I think it's the quality of the Italian, and especially the Asian section, I feel like, is a little bit lacking. I think they could be doing a little bit more with the Asian section. But for what it's worth, it's not bad, and it's cool that you have so many options in one restaurant, like three different areas, three different types of cuisine from the same buffet. I get it. All right, let's quickly have a look at some of the desserts now. So here we've got a red velvet cake, which looks lovely. We've got some mini cheesecakes over here, some pecan tart. Here we've got a pecan and caramel tart, seems to be quite popular. We've got a peanut butter tartlet, cute little peanut butter tartlet in the shape of Mickey. These are adorable. On the back row, we've got a ganache cupcake over there, white chocolate ganache cupcake. That's on the left hand side. We've got the famous Thor chocolate cake, which I have tried before. It's basically mousse and it's really nice. It, it tastes delicious. It looks very cool. I like the theming. We've got little brownies. We've got also another famous dessert here. It's basically mousse au chocolat, uh, baby Groot. So baby Groot with chocolate mousse, quite dark chocolate actually. And there's some mini donuts as well. Here we have some white chocolate and pistachio tartlet. These look pretty nice. We've got some raisin and dried apricot pudding. Not my thing. I don't really enjoy raisins some um, chocolate cakes over here again with some raisins in them what is this one i says uh, lychee apple entremet pastel de lychee manzana i think that's what it is they also have some rice pudding over here they have the macarons that you get in most buffets as well these ones are themed to the avengers they do have a selection of fruits here which obviously works for vegans on the back we've got a chocolate fondant and red beans thing over there We've got uh, panna cotta, America, Captain America panna cotta, and again, really enjoy the theming. We've got some Japanese pearls, coconut cashew over here, tiramisu, love that, I've tried it before, excellent. And then some mini cannoli mousse with some fruits in them, which is also nice, but yeah, there you go. These are the dessert sections. And with that, we have our final plate, the desserts. And you might be able to tell that it looks very, very brown, very toffee, very chocolatey. Um, this is just what I like in desserts. So we've got a brownie, which is probably the only thing I've not tried here. Actually, I haven't tried the Mickey-shaped peanut butter thing either. So these two I've never tried before in this restaurant. I have tried Groot before, little Groot over here with the dark chocolate mousse and I do enjoy him. He's also just adorable, he's a staple of this restaurant. The tiramisu here I've tried before and it's pretty good. 
and then of course Thor's hammer, which is a similar concept to be honest to the Groot. It's basically kind of chocolate mousse again, but it looks so cool that I had to get it. And these two I'm very much looking forward to trying. So quite a good selection of things I would say, but I can't help the fact that I enjoy chocolate and coffee. Okay, so there we have it. All my delicious looking desserts. I think I'm just going to try with this Mickey first because I've seen photos of this before and I think they probably do have it in some other buffets too. I like peanut butter desserts too so hopefully this will be nice. It's um, a little drier in terms of the texture that I imagined it to be so let's give him a little bite. Okay if you love peanut butter you're going to enjoy this and I happen to be somebody who enjoys peanut butter. Reese's cups I love. This in the shape of Mickey of course I'm going to enjoy. It's a good size as well it's not too big. Yeah, really nice. Next, let's try a little bit of the brownie, which is definitely new to me here at downtown. The brownie is really delicious. Wow. I don't like it when brownies are too dry again. I just, I don't like dry food. I'm, I'm somebody who enjoys moisture in her food. And this brownie is so beautifully soft, so chocolatey. The nuts in there, everything together just comes together so well. That's a highlight for sure. Love the brownie. Time for one of my favorite desserts anywhere, tiramisu. Let's see if this is a good one. Can't complain. Is it the best tiramisu I've had? Absolutely not. But again, for a buffet, it's delicious and I would happily go and get myself another one. I just wish it had more coffee to it. I feel like the flavor of the coffee could have been stronger for this, but again, it's a buffet, so I feel like they try and go for the average of what people like. Personally, I prefer my tiramisu to have more of a strong coffee taste. And this definitely has some coffee flavor, just not enough for me. Now we've got Groot and look at him. He is just so adorable, so cute. I just love how they design him. It's literally just mousse and a little biscuit. Actually, is it still biscuit? Oh my god, it used to be a little biscuit group, but now I think it's some kind of chocolate. They've changed it. Lord have mercy. I'm not really sure how to try him. I think I'm just gonna have some of the mousse first. And there you go, you can see it's definitely on the darker side, the chocolate. It's not your average milk chocolate mousse. It is delicious though. I told you, I love my chocolate. And anything chocolate flavoured, whether it's dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, it doesn't matter. As long as there's chocolate involved, I'm going to enjoy it. Look at Groot now. It looks so cute. Let's bite into him. He tastes of some kind of caramel. Maybe it's a caramel chocolate. I like how they've changed it, actually. I think biscuit was just a bit boring. It's nicer that it's chocolate now. And last but not least, we've got Thor's hammer, which I'm just going to cut into so you guys can see. Yep. It's very much chocolate inside again this one's a bit like milk chocolate on the outside with a layer of darker chocolate inside which is why it's probably gonna be my favorite of everything apart from tiramisu tiramisu is my favorite but this is this is my favorite the tiramisu here was good but it wasn't phenomenal whereas this is actually something that I think is really really nice that they sell here they offer here at downtown so this is my top dessert all right well, with that being said I have just left downtown restaurant you can see it officially over there I am so full that's the problem with buffet restaurants you just want to try a little bit of everything and I genuinely feel like I'm about to explode but um, yeah current time in case you are wondering is about two minutes past 11 23 o'clock so I was in there for about an hour and a half and actually about maybe 10 15 minutes before i left so at around 10 45 i saw another party be sat so there were still a few people coming into the restaurant even as late as 10 45 pm i imagine that's probably the latest reservation slot that they give you it could even be 10 30 pm and they arrived a little bit late i don't know because it does take a little bit of time as well with the you know reservation area when you get there and you give your name you register that kind of thing so yeah it's open quite late um i enjoyed my meal i definitely enjoyed it is it my favorite buffet? No, it's not. And I've been here, like I said, a few times now since it opened in 2021 with the reimagining, reopening of this hotel, this new hotel in New York, the Art of Marvel, which I adore. I think it's so cool with the way they've done it, you know, integrating superheroes and Marvel characters into it. And of course, with that, they opened Downtown Restaurant with the new theming of it. I do enjoy it though. I'd say it's probably my top five. I think it's the kind of buffet that you would enjoy if you just enjoy food. If you enjoy eating a lot of food, then you will enjoy it. If you love food, you'll enjoy it. But if you're a foodie, which I think there is a bit of a difference, then it's not necessarily the best. And I consider myself a foodie. I love a variety of different flavors and foods. I like trying different things, new flavors, things that aren't just like quite basic. And I do feel like downtown's food is overall 
quite basic in terms of the flavors. I mean, it's good basic, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the barbecue chicken, the mac and cheese, Lord have mercy. I think the mac and cheese may have actually been my favorite thing of the night. And I definitely did not expect that because generally I find mac and cheese to be quite boring and plain. But I think the thing with the mac and cheese was that it's Americanized mac and cheese, but with French cheese, because I don't, I don't think they're bringing the cheese over from America. And the French do cheese very well. So I think because of that, it just was done really well. I enjoyed that. But yeah, you get what I'm saying, like the flavors overall aren't anything too special. And even like in the Italian section, there wasn't anything too unique. I would have liked to have seen some more things, you know, to make it more, more of a gastronomical experience. But then that's not the reason you're coming here. It's very much a family kind of buffet. You're in Disney. I think one of the reasons it's actually so popular with families actually is exactly that. The fact that there's a few different options to choose from, but also nothing too extravagant. So children are going to have plenty of choice, which I think is important. I get it. Is it value for money? I mean, it's 45 euros. It's expensive, but it is an all you can eat buffet. So you can obviously go back as many times as you want to, which I think works really well for families with loads of kids, especially because they can constantly go back with for their favorites. They don't have to choose one thing and like order something off the menu and hope that they're going to like it. They can choose a few different things. And I think that's great. I saw so many children going back for pizzas. Pizzas were very popular with the children for sure. The pastas. So I think the Italian section actually was very popular with children. I saw loads and loads of children, different ages, constantly just going there on their own and picking up pizza slices for themselves, which is so nice to see. The Asian section is my most disappointing one and it's not because it's bad, it's just so average in my opinion. And I just, I wish they did more Asian food in Disneyland Paris. It's something that is very much lacking. And, you know, this place, you know, downtown does offer some Asian cuisine, which is nice and the food wasn't bad, but it could be so much better in my opinion. And one thing that I learned from my lovely, lovely cast member waiter tonight, who you have seen earlier, he said there's actually um, three different chefs, obviously, for the different uh, cuisines, the different areas. And the Asian uh, chef is Asian. The Italian chef, which um, my server was Italian himself, and he said his favorite, of course, is the Italian section. I actually got to see the Italian chef very briefly as well. He seemed lovely. And then I think, I'm not sure if he, he might have said the American section has a French chef. I may have misheard that, but I think that's what he said, which could be the reason why I enjoy the American section so much, because it's American food, but made by French people. And I just love that. It's the best of both worlds. <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah, overall, it's uh, it's a good buffet for sure. 45 euros, not cheap. It's definitely one of the more expensive buffets here. It's not my favorite. It's not the best buffet in Disneyland Paris either. Having done the Royal Banquet now at the newly reopened Disneyland Hotel, which costs 100 euros per person, um, that is definitely a much better buffet. And check out my vlog for that if you want to. There's so much more variety of food options there, so much more flavors that you can try and enjoy. Just so many options at the Royal Banquet, but again, that's more than double the price of this. And you do get to meet characters there as well. So, uh, you know, there's pros and cons to everything, but as a buffet, it's not bad at all. And it is one of the better ones. Would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. But bear in mind that you're not gonna get some extremely beautiful flavors here. It's quite basic stuff, but good stuff. Like they do basic food well here at the buffet is how I would put it. And that mac and cheese, phenomenal. <laughs> I have one more thing to add very quickly about downtown as a buffet. And that is the atmosphere, the environment of it. I think one of the reasons that it's never been my absolute favorite buffet, despite the food being good quality, is that it just feels so cramped. Like as, a, as an atmosphere, as a dining room, it feels like you're dining in a canteen. It's so small, the tables are so close to each other. It's just very cramped. And I think because of that, sometimes the service actually suffers. I'm not saying the service is bad, and every time I've been there, I've had good service, but you know, when I go to Agrabah Cafe in the park, for instance, which is definitely one of my favorite buffet restaurants, but like they pay attention to you a bit more because it's a lot more spread out, it's a bigger space. So it, the, you know, the servers, the cast members don't feel too stressed and too rushed in a very tiny environment trying to get through. Like I literally saw a couple of cast members bump into guests today because of how busy and cramped it feels. And that's no one's fault really, it's just the space isn't very big. And I do think it lacks atmosphere, even though there's a lot of cool artworks everywhere. I really enjoy the lamps as well. Very cool, very chic, very modern. It still lacks atmosphere. And if I'm coming to this hotel and I'm wanting to dine at the Hotel New York Art of Marvel, I would always go for Manhattan over downtown. I do find Manhattan to be the better of the two restaurants here at Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. But then again, I am a solo adult, you know, my taste might vary from a family coming with children. If I had children of my own, then maybe I would prefer downtown because they could eat more, they would find the atmosphere better. But for me, I prefer the atmosphere at Manhattan. It's such a gorgeous restaurant. And I feel like if you haven't checked out my video of Manhattan, 
and then that should be the next video you watch but with that being said thank you so much for watching leave a comment down and let me know if you've ever eaten at downtown is it your dream <laughs> booking reservation because i see so many people trying their hardest to book a reservation there and don't give up i know it's hard it's a hard reservation get to get it's definitely like i said one of the most popular restaurants here buffet wise it's very difficult to get it because it's such a small space but don't give up and if you have eaten there i'd love to hear your thoughts thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye